what type of documents can process servers serve? Hey, my name is Lance and I'm a California private investigator and process server. And I have a online process server training course where I teach process servers who to serve, how to serve and how to fill out the paperwork. And one of my uh, process server training students basically wanted to find out if there was any types of documents that process servers cannot serve. Now, the information I'm about to share is for California. Now, if you live in another state, you're a process server in another state, you need to research your rules to find out what you can and can't serve. I'm no attorney. This is not legal advice. This is just based on my prior experience over 20 years serving legal papers. Now, there's no specific types of documents that a process server in California cannot serve. We can serve small claims, uh, restraining orders, civil subpoenas, wage garnishments, bank levies, uh, lawsuit papers, child custody papers, probate papers. We can serve all of those types of papers. There's no specific requirements um, on which types of documents that you can't serve. Now, like I'm a private investigator. Let's just say I'm not a process server, I'm just a private investigator. Private investigators, well, let, me, let me back up again. Process servers have to serve wage garnishments and bank levies. So if you're not a process server, you can't serve those. But if you're a process server, you can serve wage garnishments and bank levies. Those have to be served by process servers or the sheriff's department. And those are, um, you know, a little, if you're in, in the process server and you wanna get a niche, those are pretty good niches because those things get served. now. Um, when you're gonna serve a bank levy or wage garnishment, the client sends you the documents. You have to take those documents to the Sheriff's Civil Division and file them with the Sheriff's Civil Division and pay a fee. Then they will give you the documents back. Then you go serve those documents on the bank or the employer. And then you return of service back to the Sheriff's Department because the bank or the, the employer is gonna send the money that they seize to the sheriff's department who then issues the check to whoever your client is. That's how the process works. So there's a little bit extra steps when you're gonna serve bank levies or uh, wage garnishments. Um, and so that's why you, you charge more for that because it's an extra, it's extra two trips. You gotta go file it. Pay, and there's a fee involved that you have to pay the sheriff's department as well. And they usually list that fee on their website. Um, so hey, if you wanna learn how to become a process server, I have an online process server training course. If you check the, the video description, there's a link to that course. Have a great day.